Hi, I'm Karina Lopez, and this is the World Bank's Music for Dev series. I'm here with Dengue Fever. And you've probably helped raise some awareness about Cambodian rock, which I, I'd actually never heard of, and it was all, um, you, you focus on pre Khmer Rouge rock. Mm -hmm. And you have a, a charity called the Cambodian Living Arts that you work heavily with. I thought that was really interesting. Um, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, we went to Cambodia in 2005 to make a documentary about ourselves going back, back to Cambodia and about the Cambodian music scene. And when we were there, we met an organization um, started by um, Arn Chorn called Cambodian Living Arts. Mm -hmm. And they seek out living artists in Cambodia and give them a classroom and give them tools to teach students because um, due to the Khmer Rouge and you know a mass genocide that happened there in the 70s um, a lot of the performers the teachers you know anybody in government architects were the first to be targeted and killed and so you know whenever we could do a benefit concert or loan a song or do a PSA or do whatever you know, we, that's what we do for Cambodian living arts. So it's really important to us. Yeah, and, yeah. and you haven't grown up there. I, I would imagine the Cambodian living arts project is also very meaningful for you. What would you say, I mean, have things changed a lot since you've, lo have, you've, you've been here for a while? But. I've been here for 15 years. So since we back to uh, play uh, music in Cambodia. So I when I saw them, I very, you know, uh, peaceful and then I want to to my country like make more uh, have more of the, the school to teach them because they really want to be a, a stars one day and every time we've been there so I, I really appreciate it and then uh, really to helping food to help my poor country it's nice to uh, we visited schools there and yeah. um, we, we visited the Cambodian Living Arts School we also visited the the university in Phnom Penh, and it's nice whenever to see Nimal coming from there and, and speaking with the people. It's like that idea that you can go farther in your life. You could, you know, you may not be a star as a singer, but you could be a star in whatever you choose to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not only preserving the musical culture, but also giving children a renewed sense of hope that there's more possibilities out there. That's, for them. that's exactly what I'm what yeah. I was saying. Uh, what can your fans do to get more involved? So I think people need to find a passion first, and once that passion is there, I think they'll be able to um, go online, research organizations that they really care about. I think for the young people, they should get out and travel and experience life for themselves. Thank you so much, and we can't wait to hear more of your music. Thank yes. you. Thank you for having us. Thanks.